Welcome back to Big Mouth and fancy seeing you all here. So, yes, I've seen Bumblebee. It's a good movie. It's probably the best Transformers movie we've seen in a long time. But that's not saying a lot. Um, this is more of a character-driven kind of film with um, carefully placed action sequences. And the mixture of having a character-driven film when it's not all action, but you've got action in the right places, is very important. Now, um, the lead actor, what's her name? Hayley Steinfeld, is it? Let me just check that out. Yeah, Hayley Steinfeld. Hayley Steinfeld plays Charlie, and, you know, she does it so well. This is a really, really likeable character, and her relation, Charlie's relationship with Bumblebee is absolutely beautiful. I suppose... I would compare it to Elliot's relationship with E.T. in the film E.T. It's that type of film. I think even though Spielberg's just the executive producer of this film, I think that him and Travis Knight, who directed the film, came together to um, do something, kind of repeat what was done with E.T. Now, let's not, let's not start saying that this is as classic and as, you know, groundbreaking as E.T., but I'm saying the relationship between Charlie and Bumblebee is there. And really, that's one of the greatest aspects of this film. It, it's, you know, it's not really breaking any ground. But, you know, yeah, it, it, it's, it's, as I say, it's a good film. It's not fantastic. It's not the best thing ever. But it might go down as... Probably the best Transformers film ever, if I think about it. I mean, the first Transformers film was a really good blockbuster flick. It was. And I, I thought, you know, if you look at the lead character there, he was really good and we really like him straight off. And he's got personality and he's got a bit of nuance. But I think with this character, there's something else going on here. There's a relationship because the most important relationship for, I forgot what um, Shia LaBeouf's character is called. But it's more about him and Megan Fox. And, you know, he meets all these kind of robots and he has this amazing adventure. And it's really funny and fun, the first Transformers. But there's a bit of emotion here. Her relationship with Bumblebee is, is so more engaging than a Shia LaBeouf's um, kind of relationship with Megan Fox. I mean, you've got her freaking like, washing a car or whatever she's doing, bending over in those shorts. Listen, even as a red-blooded Mediterranean male, it, it's, you know, it was out. What Bay was doing there is outrageous. And how he got away with it for so many films, when we're talking about the noughties here, um, it's a bit disgusting, to be honest with you. But I will say something for Bay. His films look great and they're breathtaking and they're very exciting. Apart from the latest two that he did, they weren't very good, unfortunately. But this film is really, you know, Travis Knight has done a really, really good job here too. Just make, a, if you like, a little film. A little film about a young woman who befriends this, this amazing, I don't want to call a Transformer a robot, but that's the kind of thing. I, it is, this is a film about friendship and, and, and character. And, and you see that. And, and you see the kind of, um, I mean, you've got to, I mean, you've got to give it to Hayley, really. She does need kudos for this film because... What she actually does is she's playing alongside a CGI rendering, if you like. I don't know if they have something there during filming or, 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 or however they do it. So she's playing against nothing. But she makes you believe that this young woman and this Transformer Bumblebee are striking this beautiful relationship. And, you know, so she's, she and especially the director, Travis Knight, has to be given great credit for that. Because when you're playing against nothing, I don't know if she's looking at a broom while she's shooting, that normally they put something there, but still, she's not there with a real life actor, um, you know, creating a relationship or anything like that. She's doing it on her own. And when you see something pulled off so well like that, you credit the actor herself, but most important of all, the director who gets said performance from said actor. So, yes. I saw this film. I liked this film. Um, I'd probably see it again. I'd definitely get it on 4K. Um, I thought it was very sweet. It was very emotional. It did what it needed to do. 
I don't think this film is going to make big, big, big box office. Um, I think Aquaman's definitely going to kind of win the, that kind of period. I, I, th I think um, Disney will do quite well uh, uh, as well. What's that film that I can't even remember? Mary Poppins 2, that's it. How could I forget that? But yeah, I think that will do quite well. I don't think that's going to do better than Aquaman, by the way. I think financially this will be a, a solid 6, 650, maybe 550. Uh, what would I rate this film? I would give this film a solid seven and a half, uh, my, uh, no, eight out of ten. I'm going to be nice and positive because I got something out of this film. I got emotion. I cried. Um, I felt what they wanted to do. It worked. And I think if a film entertains you and it brings out your emotions, then it's been successful with what it's wanted to do. So let me know what you think. If you've seen Bumblebee yet, if you're someone who's been able to see like early Shanes or anything like that, are you going to see Bumblebee? Please like the video, share the video, share the channel, spread the word about Big Mouth.